In this lesson, we're going to show how we can build an administrative interface that we can use to very easily give users access to a membership site. Uh, the way I'm illustrating this here is with uh, the tool called Memberium. Uh, but everything that I'm showing you here will work exactly the same way for iMember360 websites. Uh, the only difference will be in how we set the passwords. And I'll point that out in, uh, when I get to that part of the lesson. But uh, throughout this uh, course, you'll see that um, uh, we're referring to Memberium specifically. But uh, the uh, iMember360 um, uh, plugin or, or membership system works exactly the same way. So let's get started. Here we have an internal form that uh, we've created that an administrator in Infusionsoft can use to give or remove access. So you come up, you open up the internal form for a given member in uh, Infusionsoft, and if you give them access and hit submit, what we do is we set this tag that's going to launch uh, the next step in the process. If you click on the remove, this triggers the remove course access. Uh, this one here will come up and um, trigger the course giving course two access. This one triggers um, the remove course access. Um, this one here uh, is here to illustrate that if someone makes a purchase for uh, course one, so someone goes in, swipes their credit card, buys this course, it's also going to trigger this give course access uh, tag. So if this is the give course access goal, so when either of those to um, either the form or the uh, shopping cart or the order form triggers this, this is where they start. Now the first thing that we do when we uh, enter the sequence is we turn that trigger tag off and we do that so that the next time someone either clicks on that radio button or makes a purchase, this will happen and that's because Infusionsoft only allows a tag goal to occur when a tag goes from uh, off to on. So we remove it here. So then we come up, we give them access to course one. This is the tag that's um, associated with this course one level in Membarium. And as soon as you turn this on, anybody that logs into the membership site will get access to that level. Uh, we'll go over here and the next thing we're doing is we're triggering a Membarium confirmation and welcome message so that we can send them their credentials uh, you know, and the password that we that they can use to get in. Uh, this one here is the remove course access. So this corresponds with the trigger remove one course access. And this one, again, is very simple. We turn off the trigger tag. So the next time um, someone uh, sets this tag, uh, this event occurs. And then we'll remove course uh, the course one. So the minute this happens, they no longer have access uh, to that membership level. So this one for course two and this one for course two removes access. And actually, I've just got a little documentation issue here. So I'll fix that right there. So this one triggers uh, course one access and it works exactly the same. It removes the trigger tag first. Then it comes up and it adds the course two tag so that they can get into that level and it um, triggers sending the confirmation email. Um, so this one here um, has the remove course two access. It removes the trigger tag and then it comes up and it removes the course two access level tag. So once these guys are done, it comes up and they, they set this one off. So trigger membrium confirmation. Uh, we reset that tag because, again, we want to make sure that the next time someone wants to call that sequence, it does happen. Uh, we, we do a standard email confirmation. We write a pretty email in here. Um, you know, just making sure that the person is uh, agreeing to receive our email messages. If they click here, uh, they will be confirmed in Infusionsoft. Uh, if you're not familiar with this, this confirmation uh, event will only run if the email in the system for that contact is not confirmed already. So we reset the trigger tag and then we get along to the business of generating a password so that someone can log in with a randomly complex password and then we send them their email 
uh, that goes with it. Now, this is an API. It's a, I'm sorry, this is an action set. It's a legacy feature. I could have used an HTTP post. I don't like doing that because this requires me to keep the, um, the HTTP post that I send to either Memberium or iMember360 in multiple places throughout campaigns. And what I prefer to do is to create a single action set uh, that I can call from whenever I want to generate the password. So I call this generate Memberium site password. If this was an iMember360 site, I could call the generate iMember360 site password. And the only difference between these two is the syntax of the... Um, uh, the syntax of the HTTP post I have to make. I'll show you in a second how that looks. And then I send them a welcome message. And this is, you know, a welcome. How you doing? Hey, uh, here are your login credentials. Thanks again for requesting one of Larry Jacob Internet Marketing Learning courses in order to get the material. Please use the login credentials below. We give them the address of the website. The email is always going to be the login username. And then we send them their password. Um, Again, like I said before, this is the exact same, um, uh, sh not short codes, merge codes that uh, you would be using uh, for iMember360 and Memberium, so uh, you don't have to worry about learning something different. So uh, I'm going to come on out of here so that I can publish this. This is only because I, I changed, I opened and closed that drop down box in there, so nothing really changed, but I did want to refresh that part. Uh, let's look at the action set that gets called. Uh, here I've just done a search on the word password. There's two action sets in the system um, that set these passwords. Uh, so here is the generate uh, password for Memberium syntax. Uh, so what you do is you call the membership site. This is the WordPress site where the information uh, that you're publishing or making available to people is stored. Uh, you just have to follow this. So the operation is make a password. We want to over. We do not want to overwrite a password. So if the person already has a password from some other membership level that they've been involved in, we don't want to overwrite it. We would want to leave it the same. And then we want to add the user. This is a yes. Uh, and then you have to use your authorization key. The authorization key can be found in the Memberium uh, basic options screen. Uh, I purposely kept this as a XXX so that uh, we don't have to worry about uh, people stealing our authorization codes if they see this video. So the syntax is very simple. If you log in, if you get the uh, setup information for your Memberium account, the instructions for this are there as well, but I figured I'd just show it to you. If uh, you take advantage of that, just type it in exactly as you see it there. Um, you'll call the, um, the Memberium site and the... Um, password will be placed into the password field. Uh, this is the syntax for iMember360. It's a little shorter. Uh, you're calling the uh, the gen pass um, a verb or I guess short code in uh, iMember360. Uh, this is only different because we have different sites, one for iMember360 and one for Memberium. And then this code ends up being the first six characters of your Infusionsoft API keys. So the only thing that's really different between the two is that they use a uh, different syntax, but both do exactly the same thing. They create a password. Uh, it, you know, it's a complex password that's put into the password field. So, um, you know, in a nutshell, this is exactly how we come up and, uh, and create an administrative password. This is how we give access and how we remove access to membership sites uh, that are running under Infusionsoft, iMember360, and Memberium. Take care.